assalamu alaikum friends my name is muhammad yunus and i am odo technical developer so in the previous uh, two videos we have discussed how to customize the odo website portal and in this video we are going uh, to talk about uh, how to add uh, sorted by option here so for example let me show you if you go to the project sections uh, here we can see the sorted by option uh, like on the basis of the date and on the basis of the name so we have two options so we want to add this sort uh, by option in our course section here so for this purpose uh, let me first uh, try to understand how we can find out uh, you know, to reach to a specific point in the code so for this purpose uh, here this is the section and here we need to uh, reach to this section uh, by uh, going to this uh, url and uh, uh, let me just tell you one more thing is uh, like uh, we have a uh, we have this uh, uh, controller and inside this controller we have uh, we can pass uh, uh, like variables uh, parameters to the uh, controller function so like in this case if we uh, if we pass a function uh, a parameter like this and by default it is non and if you print uh, this uh, like a test and uh, then if it is started restart Odoo service uh, then we will be able to see it uh, to be printed on the yeah uh, and this on the console like it is none at th this time but um, how we can uh, pass the value through the URL like here test is equal to testing URL like this if I enter it so uh, let me check here you can see uh, you can get the URL uh, you can get the uh, uh, parameter value like this so this is one of the points that uh, I will uh, uh, cover in this video also and this is how you can pass the parameters so uh, now we need to uh, reach to the point where uh, uh, where the changes has been done for the project uh, view like this one so here we need to first copy this url and then we need to search inside addons like this and we need to search inside the python file so here is the root and in this root uh, we need to open this uh, uh, file okay so here we can uh, see um, the search bar settings so we need to first of all add this search bar settings and like uh, let me copy it and then paste it at the top like this so this search bar settings is uh, like a dictionary and it uh, added two keys uh, date and uh, like uh, name so for the date we have added the label like uh, label like newest record first and then uh, for the name uh, key we have added the label as name and then the order by his uh, create date and order by his so here we can also uh, say like uh, course date okay descending and then name order by name so this is uh, the server setting and uh, then we need to pass here also uh, like here we can see we need to pass a parameter which is sorted by so we need to pass this parameter also which is mandatory otherwise it will not work okay like this and uh, then we need to uh, uh, check if uh, the parameter has been passed to the URL then uh, it should be date and why it should be date because uh, like if it is not set then it should by default take the date so it will uh, it will uh, uh, like add the order by on the basis of the course date so we need to copy this uh, this code okay here and paste it here like this so what this means like if not sorted by if this is none like if it is normal search then uh, make it a date and it will depict the first value and the uh, and the records will be uh, ordered on the basis of the course date and if it is not then uh, you have the option to choose it okay uh, if it is set then it will uh, 
if it will uh, take the sorted by on the basis of the option selected there so this is the order uh, option and here we need to add the order by so like this order is equal to this so what it will do it will return the courses uh, records on the basis of the order that is uh, passed through the URL and here we need to pass one more thing which is uh, like uh, uh sorry what it is it should be like sorted by and uh this uh search bar uh, setting so we need to pass these two parameters uh here like this so this search bar setting will set uh, this search bar this option and uh this sorted by option will uh uh, help us uh, to sort the records and to pass the value uh, in the uh, URL. Okay, so uh, let me just uh, restart Odoo service and then uh, refresh uh, the browser like this. Okay, refresh the browser and go to courses section. So here we can see the sorted option has been added sort by newest um, so we can change it to date also so if you click here newest uh, is by default uh, and here you can see uh, sort by uh, date has been added and if we click on the name so here you can see the order has been changed and sort by is equal to name has been added in the url and it will be passed here okay so uh, this is uh, how it works and if you want to understand uh, what this uh, will contain so let me show you so I will, I will print this value on the console okay so let me go back to the portal view okay so let me click on the courses so if I click on the courses you will see this okay it will pick uh, this uh, value like uh, uh, order it on the basis of the course date in the descending order and if we select any uh, value here like name so what you will see here to order it on the basis of the name so here you can also add a descending or ascending but uh, so you have the option here and if you want to change uh, the label of this uh, search uh, bar so you can do it just by changing this value and let me just refresh this uh, browser and okay go to courses and here uh, you can see course but we need to make it a uh, course date okay course date like this so refresh a uh, restart old service and then I refresh this uh, page. Okay, so here you can see course date and name. So here you have the options. So this is how it uh, works. And if you want to add any other parameter, so you need to keep in mind that, that the field that you want to add in the order should be present on that model. So you have the option to add it, just duplicate this option and here you can add uh, whatever you want to add, like the field name that is present on the model. So thank you guys for watching this video. If uh, you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.